Hey guys, welcome back to JKM Tech and Hustle. This is Vanessa. In this video, I'll be explaining all about WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE. So how do you start this? If you don't have an account yet, you have to register first. To register, you may click the WISE link in the video description below. If you use this link, you can have a free transfer and your first transaction with WISE. It's that simple, you just have to create an account. If you already have an account, you click on login and then enter your email and your password I'm gonna share to you how to add a bank account in TransferWise If you, your account is not yet verified meaning you still did not verify the email address and put your valid ID uh, WISE is going to look like this but if you have already done the verification, it's going to look different. For a completely verified account, this tab is going to show. But for a non-verified account yet, you may click on this option to add your bank account. But since this one is completely verified, so the output changes once you have completely verified the account. So you click on this. So you see some features are not available for those uh, accounts that are not yet ver verified. So if you want all the features to be shown, can you complete all the verification purposes? And now uh, I have done all of that, so let's go ahead and add our local bank account. I'll be adding uh, my BPI savings account. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our local bank account. So go on and click this. Select currency, so Philippine Peso. And then input your full name. And then select your local bank, mine is BPI. And then input the account number. Then double check if everything's correct and click confirm. And then you will receive a successful notification that you have successfully added your local bank account and it's going to reflect on the site like this. You can also add multiple recipients from other countries or currency. For example, if you're working with people from USA, UK or Australia. In my case, I have already added Australian dollar now I'm gonna be opening a USD account just in case who knows I'll get an employer from USA so to start let's click on this so click open and then select the currency you want to open so US dollar and then click confirm now we have opened a USD account. The next step, which is the confusing part, is funding. Funding your USD account. It's the same concept with the bank. If you want to open an account, you have to have an initial deposit. So that's what we're going to do. Funding or adding the pot. To be able to use your USD account, you need to activate this account. To activate it, you need to add balance or funding. It's the same concept with the bank. When you open an account, you have to have initial deposit. So let's go ahead and add balance. I'll put in $10. And then continue. You 
see you need to verify the account for this and then click from the debit card I'll be using my BPI credit card to fund this account and then continue to payment and then click on new card and then input all the card number details, expiry date, and the security code. After you input all the card details, click on continue and then You have to keep your mobile phone close to you for so you can receive the OTP code and then continue. Click on continue. And then once you receive the OTP code, you input it here. And you're all done. You have activated your USD account and you can now use this. So let's go ahead and check the initial funding that we need. So to check, click on this. So you see, it's the same day posting, so let's look for the balance. So now we have added balance or funding to our USD account, so this is now activated and you can now use this to receive payments. So next is how to receive payment from TransferWise or wise coming from your employer is to give them the banking details so to give the banking details you just click on this and then click on this to be able to receive payment using your usd account first you need to provide your banking details so this is your banking details and second is your wise Swift code. This is the site where you can find the WISE or TransferWise Swift code. You just have to give this link to your employer so they can find the corresponding Swift code that they need. They just have to input all these details marked in red to generate the Swift code here. I have put the link down in the description box below for this site. After receiving payment from your employer, it's time to send the money that you receive to your local bank in Philippines. So let's proceed and click on this, send money. So, he, so here it's going to show you how much balance you have and then you click on this. So here you have to enter how much you want to send to your local bank account, so into here and then it's gonna show you the breakdown of the fees, total amount converted and the rate and then the total amount you receive. I'm sorry if I have to hide the information from here. And then next is select which local bank account you're gonna send the money. I selected my BPI account which I added previously and then next is it's gonna ask you for a reason for the transfer uh, they require a reason for sending money to help them monitor or track money laundering so you just need to answer it and then so I chose sending money home to family and then here you double check if everything is correct and then once 
you double check that everything's correct you just click on finish and pay and then another double checking if all the information is correct i'm sorry if i had to hide all the information and then once everything's okay confirm and send and then it's gonna opt you to input your password so after inputting the password click done and then it's gonna show you that you have successfully sent the money and then it's gonna show you the detail break breakdown when you, you send it and when you will receive it why i chose wise well if you want more secure way and faster way of transferring things then you then you might want to try this method and benefits of using wise faster transfers and lesser fees uh, by the way if you know someone who will benefit from this video then please share this video to them and i would say that if this video is helpful to you then before leaving please make sure that you like the video and subscribe it's totally free and if you could leave some nice comments that will make my day that would be all thank you very much for watching this video and i hope to see you again soon in the next session bye